Hello folks and welcome to the third video in our uh, series called Region and Revolt, where we've been speaking to activists and scholars in West Asia and North Africa about the movements and the march in these countries. Mm -hmm. uh, my name's Lewis Akers and I'm an Conter Editorial Board member and I'm joined this week by Aza Mustafa, um, who's going to be helping us uh, journey through Sudan and explaining the movement there, the political situation, um, and really the things to watch out for. I can't think of anybody better to be speaking to about this subject. She's an extraordinarily talented Sudanese academic um, who specializes in public policy and governance and has written extensively on democracy and political parties in Sudan. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be very exciting today. Um, hello, Aza. How are you doing today? All good? Uh, thank you, Louise. Uh, I really appreciate to meet with you. And uh, this is a good opportunity for me to reflect the uh, Sudan revolution and just uh, meet with you. And uh, I hope this is, will be a benefit for the, or the other and the, or for the audience. Perfect. That's awesome. I'm really looking forward to discussing this. It was uh, reading your work on uh, the sort of Sudanese uh, revolutionary movement uh, over the last couple of months has been very refreshing. Um, because there's lots to be uh, quite, you know, sad about and downhearted about in the world. But hearing about movements that are actually doing something and are uh, sort of fighting for change is very refreshing. So just to start with, um, I, I suppose probably a lot of people who are going to be watching this video maybe don't know much about Sudan um, and about the politics in Sudan. So could you tell us a little bit about the sort of political background to Iran, some of the history? So how, okay. how, does, how does Sudan uh, become what it is today? Okay, okay. Thank you, Luis. Yes, as, as uh, do you know that Sudan independent on the, uh, the 1st of January, 1956. And uh, after the, the revolution, after the independent, we have uh, um, any yeah, phase, what we call the uh, uh, sinister circles, okay. you know, coup the et and then the democratic uh, period, and then the coup the et and and so on and so forth. For this, and until now, we the after the independence, now we have sixty four or about sixty four years. On this sixty four years, we face uh, um, uh, eleven years of of, uh, of 46 years of democracy so okay. if you compare between the the period of democracy and the period of the military rule the biggest uh, gone to the the military so we we faced from the uh, 1958 until uh, 1950 uh, 50, 56 sorry until 1958 with the Military coup, military coup ruled by Aboud, General Aboud. Then we have the Nimeri from the uh, uh, until uh, until 69. Then uh, he, uh, Nimeri ruled for 16 years. Then we have the uh, a little uh, democratic period. Then we have the coup of Fouté with the Omar al Bashir from 1989 until the last revolution. They ruled for 30 years. So all be, before, uh, after the independent and before the independent, the Sudanese history is not established that, that much. So we have all, we have long time ruled by the authoritarian and the dictatorian. And uh, you know, we face, uh, as you know that on the dictatorian and the authoritarian regime, you can yani you can uh, uh, imagine how they can rule the security forces and uh, how the people can, you know, treat all this, uh, 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 create the political scene in the Sudan from the independent until the last uh, revolution that we have. So this is uh, shortly the history of what we have uh, in Sudan. We have a very, very short uh, democratic period. It's just uh, 11, uh, 11 years. Um, and we rule by all this military and we face much of kind of uh, security forces and uh, you know, and the authority, authority power from the independent until, until uh, this uh, time. 
So this is a briefly what we have, or this, this is a briefly background of the Sudan history. It's longer than that, but, and it and we have uh, and uh, much details, but this is uh, the, the general, the, the general theme of the, of the historical. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I was just wondering, I mean, how do these divisions between sort of, so like sort of North and South uh, Sudan affect the politics within Sudan? Um, do they affect um, the way in which people are able to unify and push for change? Yes. Yes, let me let me uh, be frankly with you. It is a matter of the division or separation of the sounds. It come, it's not come between uh, any time, and you know, it's quickly. It has yeah. accumulations uh, issues, and you know, it is a regional, it is a, a religious and ethnic, you know, uh, and even the political uh, accumulations that we have before the independence and after the independence. Um, uh, when, when the South uh, separate on uh, 2011, it's the result of, the, of that accumulation that the religions or, or the ethnic uh, accumulations that we have before the independence until. Frankly, uh, it, when it comes, we have to divide it this, this uh, period into before, before the, before the Ingaz or before the uh, yeah, uh, Bashir regime and after the Bashir regime. Before the, 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 before the regime of al-Bashir uh, until after the independence, the, the, the people in South Sudan feel they are the, the second citizen. They are not feel they are the Sudanese yani, as that full, uh, that full much uh, citizen. Uh, the people on the, on the, in the South, in the North treat them as actually as a second citizen because of the religious and because of the ethnicity and because of the differ of the culture and so on and so forth. When al-Bashir come, um, uh, they are implemented their uh, civilizational project. It mainly, mainly it is an Islamic project and they are called for the Sharia law. And you know that the, East, the people in the South, the, most of them, or 90% of them, they are Christian. And they ask a question how they can rule by the Islam and they are Christian. We have not only those people in the South, we have all the people in the South Kordofan, they have the traditional perspectives. So how can you uh, rule all these people under the Sharia law or the Islam law or the civilizational project? So this is the one of the issues that rise the matter of the self-determination of the Sudan. Uh, and also still the Inghaz or the Bashir regime rise the matter of the Arab, Arab, Arab nationalism or the Arab identity. And we are the Arab and we are not Africa. And, and uh, you know, we are the multi, multi nations country. So when they arise this two uh, issue of uh, Islam and the, the religion on the issue of the ethnicity, they feel that they are not citizen, citizen and they have no the same rights of the citizenship. So because of that, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. John Garan writes uh, the, the matter of the South and we have, and she said that they have to treat as not as a Muslim. Sudan is a multi uh, country, multi diversity country and uh, the, the exactly rule that is a secularism. So if, if we need to implement the rule of the is, is Islam, it's difficult to rule or to implement in Sudan because it's, it's not uh, Muslim. Yes, the majority is a Muslim, but we have the Christian. All this, all this accumulation let the people in Sudan ask for the self-determination self until they have uh, their uh, own rule on the July 2011. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Surely, surely it affects for the Sudan because, you know, we are lost uh, uh, maybe 30 of, of our land and uh, part of our people. And you know that uh, uh, we, we lost all the, the, uh, the resources like oil. It's gone with the Sudan. And it, this is... Um, 
يعني passively affected of the, our economy here in the south and uh, even we feel that we uh, lost the uh, essential part of our survival. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, does that, do, do those sorts of divisions within society, those sorts of religious divisions, do they get in the way of um, of organizing for sort of revolutionary change? Um, or have the movement been able to sort of overcome those divisions? Yeah, I'm not getting you well, Luis. Could you oh, repeat, sorry. And um, so do those sorts of religious divisions within society, do they... Um, stop the movement being able to organize for change or is the movement being able to overcome those divisions? Still we have this religious divides because we have, still we have our the Christian people in South uh, Kordofan and even in the Blue Nile and we have the people that believe on the, in the nature and you know with the traditional aspects and the, still the matter is there. So, but here after the revolution, we rise all this because of that. If you if you if you follow that, most of the the armed group rise the issue of circularism as the as the solution of the Sudanese way of ruling because the society in Sudan is not yes the, the Muslim is the biggest, but still we have the uh, other other believers. So we have yani, still after the after the the revolution. Even the people here in the North Sudan, we have they ask the matter, they raise the matter of uh, secularism as the solution of the of the Sudan of the Sudan um, difficulties from the independence until until uh, now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right, perfect. I mean, just to if we sort of move forward to today, um, in terms of those movements. Um, there's obviously big movements on the street. And as you say, there's a sort of authoritarian uh, government in Sudan today. Can you tell us what the movement on the street is demanding? Um, and uh, what, what has the government been doing? Um, so what, what is the makeup of the government? How does it look? Uh, what does it, how, how has it been oppressing or repressing the people? Yes, uh, you know the movement um, after before the, the the cabinet was shaped and after the cabinet was shaped and the uh, prime minister Hamdok, uh, you know, uh, sh yani shaped his uh, cabinet, and uh, you know now we are to share the power with the military as a pre uh, the superior council is divided into two military and civilian. But as you follow after the revolution that we have the accident which had happened in the city. Okay. So after what had happened in the city, all the people become against the military. They believe that the military is responsible of what had, had, what had happened in the, in the city. So all the movement now in the street asking to be as we rise on the in the revolution and this demonstration that we needed a civilian we fed up of the military and we did we didn't need the military uh, uh, again we needed pure civilian and we called in arabic madania we needed uh, madania uh, because of that after the sitting you know that what had happened in the sitting and we have uh, a, a number of uh, people that we are lost and uh, they are killed. And from that, they are um, most uh, movement, movement of the of the youth, as you as you know, the resistance group, they are, uh, they have their movement. And even we have the movement or, or we have the alliances of the people, of the families that they are lost their sons in the city okay. asking. And we have uh, the movement of uh, the people that uh, looking for justice uh, before, for the, the um, from the previous regime and what was happening in the city. And also we have the women movement. They ask for their, their rights, 40% as they are uh, promised. So all these movements, they actually influence of the political scene now. And they, between the two brackets, they are control the street. You know, and between time to time, 
they 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 are in the street. They are have the march and they have the millionia millions uh, march in the street asking for their rights, and encourage the civilian part of the government to asking or to quick uh, uh, for the justice or to implement the justice because we are not feel that our revolution is uh, uh, complete yet because the um the, the the victim is is the victim rise is lost until now and the people who are doing this they are still still outside prison without any um without any you know um sentences so this is the bodies that control the street now and between time to time they are in, in the street rising um they are um, their questions for the government asking the prime minister and the civilian part in the uh, superior council uh, to punish the people who are responsible of this. You know, uh, yes. And now this is, um, um, five or six days ago, they have a movement in the street. They asking for the justice and they have they asking for the punishment of the of the people so we have many bodies that move uh, on the street and they have a, a very influ influential um impact in the in the in the street and they have a strong movements yes okay that's perfect i mean so there's there's lots of different sorts of movements all within the big the wider movement for democratic change um so there's lots of exactly. different people coming together and you you mentioned there that uh, about the sort of uh, the, the government just now is made up of not only the military but civilians at the same time. So the key goal of the movement is for a, a one hundred percent citizens government. So for it to be civilians in government without the military, is that right? Yes, it is. It is. You know, this is the transitional period as a as a constitutional document that signed after the revolution uh the power is sharing between the civilian and the military you know uh because after the bashir coup the military um uh, uh yani assume that they are um they are um cover and they are protect the protest and brought is the, the revolution so they are a part of this revolution. It is a, a complicated, yani it is a very complicated, but after the sign of the, the uh, constitutional uh, document, they become a part of the of the government. They are with the, they are sharing what we call the superior, the superior council. It is a share between the civilian and the and the military, headed by Al Burhan, the general Burhan. And uh, his uh, vice or uh, his uh, deputy is uh, Dr. Hamdok. And uh, we have a part of a uh, member is civilian and the part of, uh, of, the, of its member is uh, military. But uh, they have to be as, as what signed in the, in the constitutional document, they have to govern uh, uh, 39 months. Then they have delivered this uh, for the elected uh, elected uh, government but uh, now they are a part of the of the power okay that's lovely thank you i mean just in terms of um the sort of revolutionary movement um in the in, in your writing uh, on sudan when you're talking about the movement um you raise the uh, sort of the role of the sudanese professional association um and the trade yeah. unions um can you tell can you tell us why um the trade unions and the sudanese professional association played such a central role within the movement rather than say political parties um so it seems that political parties doesn't don't play as central a role within the revolutionary movement in sudan and it's it's much more led from the ground by communities and by trade unions what's the reason for that Yes, the trade union is a part of the SPA. Yeah, the, you know, Sudanese Professional Association is the, is the umbrella, uh, uh, yeah, embodied many bodies. Okay. Uh, association, yeah, professional, 
professional uh, un professional uh, bodies and even the unions yani labor unions trade unions and so on and so forth so all these unions is under the sba so uh, before the 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 remove or before the fall of the bashir regime the sba is leading leading the the, the, the scene and they are called for the revolution for the demonstration in the street and no one at that time know who are those they are just to follow because we are following them from the facebook and whatsapp and sms messages um yani, uh, i invite people to go to the street and for the millionia millionia means the millions people in the street they have to go for the demonstration uh, at that time all the sudanese people uh didn't know who is this union but um uh, we know that it lead by the doctors and uh, when when they are you know become known they are captured by the security but anyway uh from the revolution until the fall of al-bashir the sba um with with its all bodies they are lead uh, lead the, the demonstration until the fall of al-Bashir. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, after the after the uh, the SBA and the FFC uh, freedom uh, freedom for uh, forces of freedom and change, they are leading uh, the, the leading the, the revolution. But and uh, here in the in the in the SBA, all the bodies is uh, technical bodies. They are not yes they are to some extent they are members of the some political parties but under the umbrella of spa spa they are uh, totally professionals you know and they are leading this because uh, they are calling for the civil uh this this obedience this obedience so for, for that they are <laughs> they are calling for this but at the same time they are member of the the political, to some extent, is complicated, but let me yeah. illustrate to you this. And they are a member of the of the political parties, and all the political parties and uh, and the uh, armed groups they are in the umbrella of the FFC, uh, Forces of uh, Freedom and Change. Those, yeah, it, these two bodies they are lead lead the demonstration and lead okay. the the revolution. You know, um, they are. It's it's not. They are not the political parties because here they are. They are representative. They are unions as uh, technical unions. You know, but those people are. Um, most of them they are members in the in the in the political parties. Um, after the revolution and the and the cabinet is there and they they sign the constitutional. Uh, document there are many uh, divided on this body you know uh, the some of the bodies they are uh, separate from this uh, sba and become uh, any uh, separate body and they they you know, the people feel that it the the body is not that strong when they delete the 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 uh, the revolution uh, because of that, they are not become a political parties because they are technical uh, unions and they are te technical laborers and uh, you know trade unions and uh, technical uh, bodies. But in the in the in the other phase, they are a member in the in the several political parties. But uh, I I don't I'm not sure that they become they. Um, uh, uh, manage to be a uh, political parties because uh, most of them they are uh, actually member or cadre in some political parties. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for that. And uh, just on the back of that, um, what in, in your writing on Sudan, you also talk about the role which community organization plays um, within the revolution. Um, so I, I was wondering if you could tell us a bit about how those sorts of how that community organization looks like so in uh, in your writing you talk about uh, there being small scale neighborhood sort of committees who are 
uh, you know, organizing activity and organizing the revolution. Could you tell us a little bit about that sort of community organization? Mm -hmm. Uh, do you mean the civil society organization or the resistant group or the resistant group uh, specifically? So could you tell us a little bit about the sort of um, community sort of organizing uh, within the revolution? So these sorts of sort of resistance groups um, and tell us about how central the role of those sorts of local groups are to organizing the revolution and the sort of uprisings, the protests against the government. Okay, uh, you know, the resistance group uh, now is the strongest uh, body that or the strongest uh, movement that in the in the in the Sudan. Um, uh, we absolutely you can call them the backbone of the of this revolution. And they are the keeper of this revolution in all the cities of the Sudan and and, and the small cities inside the big cities. Uh, there is a resistance group. They are divided into two, the resistance group, and the, we have the uh, uh, services and change group. Mm -hmm. And mainly they are share the state, uh, you know, they, they are doing the duties of the state in some places. You know, they are, they are just like uh, uh, a dog who are, uh, um, the guard dog of this revolution, and they are really um, the, the protector of this revolution. And uh, they are a very, or they have a highly, uh, a highly organized system uh, between the, between together inside the, the city's resistant group. And they are work as one body and they are absolutely uh, believe that this resolution have to reach um, its end. Madania is Madania. It's uh, uh, civilian is civilian. This is what they have. Uh, this is the, the main uh, target uh, aim of this uh, resistant group. In the other side, they are um, present services for the, the citizen in the small group, just like they have a, a very low price market and they are, you know, cleaning the streets, uh, uh, preparing for, for the national uh, uh, festivals and they are um, work together uh, in the collaboration way. And even they are a body of pressure for the government. And you know, the government is considered of the resistant group. When they are in the street, that means even the military or even the, the civilian, they have to hear them. You cannot avoid them. Really, they are the control the street and they are now um, reflect the, uh, the, 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 the questions or what the, sum, the, the simple uh, people need, they are reflected by the, the, by the resistance group. And even they are collecting the money from their own pocket. You know, most of them, they are students and they are employed, but you know, they, are, they, are, they feel that the, the, solid, the solidarity, you know, they, from their own pocket, they are collecting money to just to help the just, uh, um, poor families, and uh, the student, and you know, even the students, they have the initiative uh, to helping the 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 student, uh, the poor student, collecting the the bags and you know, and the and the books for them. They, you know, do a very fantastic, a very fantastic uh, uh, role in the in the uh, daily life, and really, they are the backbone of this uh, of this. Uh, of this uh, resolution, yes, they facing some some uh, some difficulties with uh, hidden uh, hidden uh, people or hidden, uh, yani hidden. I don't know yani how can I hidden, um, yani or uh, hidden yani just like uh, uh, some 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 uh, some. Um, uh, uh, they are facing difficulties with the military, 
Let okay. Me, yeah. Me frankly, with the military because they feel that they are a very strong, a very strong power, and they are control. They are control the street. And uh, in, in no time they can uh, collect it together and become and become uh, be, become one forces. So uh, we face they are faces captured, you know, and kidnapping and killing of the the members of the resistance group here in Khartoum and outside Khartoum. And it, uh, it is just like for me, it is just like a, a message from this part for the resistance group to uh, threaten them or to make them afraid of what the, the will face if they are still yani, struggling for Madania or for the civilian. This is the message that, but uh, of, uh, yani, unfortunately or fortunately, this makes them more stronger and more united. Yeah. And uh, at, at the last, I can say that, yes, the resistance group is uh, doing a, a fantastic way in this, and they are uh, uh, yani capturing all all the the, the things that um, let the, this revolution go forward, and they are really protecting protecting this uh, resolution. That's yes. perfect. Um, and and women women uh, play a central role within the resistance groups. Is that right? Um, exactly. Yes, you know that the woman. Uh, yani, uh, sixty percent of the demonstration in the street led by the woman, uh, you know, and this is uh, also is a, a matter of accumulation of what we face, uh, of from the Ingaz or the Bashir rule. You know, they are beating the, the women. If you are not put a scarf in your head, you have to beat. If you uh, dress trouser, you have to beat. A lot of things that we, the women face from the uh, Ingaz time. When it comes to resolution, most of the people in the street, they are uh, the young women. And 60% uh, of those are women. And here, in, even in the in the resistance group now, the leaders are uh, the same, same by boy and girls, or male or females, they are the, the women. And uh, all the brilliant initiatives uh, bring from the, the woman. And they, you know, they feel that they have they have their own freedom, and now they are feeling the new the new era of uh, freedom and uh, human rights and uh, good expression. So, yes, uh, absolutely, the women uh, they have a great role in this in this period, and they are lead a very fantastic initiative, and have a good influential of the political scene. That's absolutely, absolutely. brilliant. It's uh, it's really mm -hmm. good to hear about movements where. You know, women are are leading from the front um, because you know quite often in uh, politics, men end up uh, dominating uh, movements exactly. or political parties. Exactly. So it was so refreshing to hear uh, in your writing about you know women playing a central role um, in standing up for you know their freedom and their equality. It's it's really quite inspiring. Um, and and now that yeah, now now that we have uh, a very strong uh, uh, initiative, it's uh, our rights. Uh, it's uh, it's a right that we are not need forty percent. We are need fifty percent. We are not less than the the men, and we are equal. And we ask for equality. And uh, and you know that the women in the in the civilian services they are equal with the men. And uh, we are uh, and, and we are equal, and we are in, in some places we are more plenian than the men. So why we are not uh, uh, get our rights uh, uh, completely uh, or equally with with the men? This is a very strong uh, movement, and now they are pressured uh, for their rights, and uh, they are not acceptable. Uh, what was happened in the last uh, uh, cabinet? Yani they said that four or five. Uh, women in the cabinet it is not enough. We need more and more. And uh, now they they have uh, from time to time they have a meeting with the prime minister for that. And uh, every day uh, and every week and every month they have uh, the, they have um, a, you know a movement and they have an event inside the prime minister council asking for their for their um, rights. And yes, oh, uh, they are always they are asking for 
for the equality and uh, we are uh, yani we are strong and we are uh, uh, have a good impact and a good influ influence in the in the life so uh, they ask always the society to rechange or to renew their views about the women and the women rules it is not that traditional way we, we are new and we have their rights and we are on the same stage with the men lovely thank you that's awesome <laughs> um and i mean just thinking about um sort of coronavirus and uh sort of yeah. covid19 um obviously that's had a massive impact everywhere around the world um exactly. so i mean what sort of impact has that had on the the sort of revolutionary movement within sudan um and has it made the government more repressive um has it given the government more opportunity to oppress the people and to to stop them fighting for revolutionary change yes exactly it is uh, by this by the way or another it uh, it has uh, uh, it uh, has impact um but let me let me um answer with another another way okay. you know that we now we have in the transitional the traditional period and we have uh, to prepare ourselves for the coming uh, democratic uh, period and you know this time or this three three years is not enough for the political parties and for the you know and for the bodies or the resistant bodies to prepare themselves for the coming uh, for the coming period the democratic period and inshallah it will be the last uh, uh yani democratic one that we are faced we are not we have inshallah we will not get a, a, another military coup so for that we are preparing our ourselves and it is not enough three three uh, years is not enough for the political parties and for the uh, political um, forces to prepare themselves for that when the corona is there you know everything is frozen you know the the social distance and you know the 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 meetings or the political uh, the, the public the public speech with the people all these influence uh passively of the political parties uh, duties and even for the resistant group meetings and you know and uh, the demonstration as the pressure you know as a way of the pressure um uh, you, you know the, when, when the government asked for the social distance uh, this uh, actually um, influence for the political uh, political parties and even for the for the the, the groups uh, you know the alternative uh, way of meeting is you know social media and zoom and so on and so forth but here in sudan it is difficult to meet with Zoom, because if I want to meet with one in Darfur, uh, it's difficult because the network is not cannot help help me to meet with them to yeah. reflect them what I have to you know it, it is a matter of a communication. Because of that, we see that coronavirus. Uh, it's now it's uh, one year or some yeah. and, and, and one one and a half. So this will actually influence of the of the political scene and for the political preparation for the for the for the coming uh, for the coming period but uh, with the with the with the uh, uh, coronavirus when they the resistant group need to be in the street they are in the street you know they are put their mask and asking for the social distance and they want to say that we are here uh, uh, even we have corona but actually actually corona is influenced passively uh, uh to some extent with the with the political uh, the political scene and even with the social social scene and even with the, with the health as you know we are we are uh, any facing uh, deficit of the you know economic and actually it's influence uh, and it's damage most of the of the uh, yani the people uh, they are we are losting people and they are dying for uh, basically, it's uh, absolutely influenced uh, the corona, the coronavirus. Yes. And the, the the resistance groups have all played a role in sort of supporting people throughout the coronavirus. Is that right? 
Um, exactly. So they, yeah. Exactly. Um, exactly. Yes, they have a very good role uh, during the coronavirus. They are aware the people by the corona, you know, uh, the coronavirus, and ask people to be uh, uh, at home, keeping them themselves and their children. And even this, in the school, they are preparing the school, you know, for the so, so social distance. And even they are uh, distributed soap, uh, you know, and uh, you, you know some sanitizer for the for the people, and ask them to be, you know, even in the mosque, they ask people when they get the prayer and in the in the chair, please don't uh, any come in the in the in the in the groups. And yes, they are raising the, the awareness of the people about the coronavirus, and they are. Yani help most of the people. Even you know, we have uh, um, uh, some deficit or some difficulties on the bread. After we have a deficit of the wheat, they are uh, play a very good role during the coronavirus. They are brings they are brings uh, bread for the the families and they knock doors and give you the you know, yani they ask people just keep keep in your house and we we do. Uh, everything that make you comfortable. They play a very, very, very influential, uh, influential roles during the coronavirus until now. Perfect. Um, I mean, just in, just thinking about you, you were discussing earlier um, the transition into democracy, um, and I mean, are you are you quite confident um, that the movement will be able to deliver that democratic change? Um, and we'll be able to hold the government to account and to deliver a, you know, a civilian state um, for the people. Yes, uh, frankly, Frank, uh, uh, by hope, we hope this. Yeah. And this is what we look for. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, the scene is very complicated, really complicated. Uh, because now we have, you know, the military side, and we have the armed groups. Now they are joined. Some of them they are joining the the government, and the other is still opposition. We have Abdul Wahid Muhammad Noor, and we have uh, Abdul Aziz Al Hilu. They are still in the opposition side. Even here in the in the political forces inside, uh, they have their own, you know, struggles with which is which is each others. And uh, even here, yes, the resistance group here uh, is the influential part, but they are still need, you know, to uh, uh, to reach uh, to to be a political to be a political bodies. Okay. Um, the way or the path of the democratic uh, period it's uh, um, a very difficult, and we have uh, challenges and obstacles, frankly. But um, the target that all the people is uh, look for is we have to change for the democratic period enough. And we are fed up, we are fed up of uh, military coup and we are fed up of the authoritarian and dictatorial uh, rule. Uh, but it, take, it needs time. You know, the political parties need to prepare themselves for the coming for the coming uh, period, and even the, the the initiatives and the women and the civil society need to prepare themselves for that. As you know, we are ruled thirty years, uh, ruled by one one uh, you know one the party. Yeah. So uh, actually, this is influence of the of the political parties and influence of the all the the civil civil societies. We need to aware that what actually we need to prepare for. Yes, three years, uh, or, or the, the, the period, the transitional period, three years is a very few uh, to be uh, completely changed from, the, from this yani, period to democratic period. It needs a hard work. And now the, the political parties uh, prepare themselves. They uh, they uh, call for their uh, you know general conference, preparing. They are working uh, you know uh, workshops for the for the youth here in Khartoum and outside Khartoum, preparing themselves for the uh, 
for the coming. They are doing, but it needs more and more of hard, hard work to reach this uh, uh, coming period. But uh, yes, now they are starting, but it takes time. Yeah, no, but definitely. Not, yeah, it is not to go smoothly. Yes, it, we have an obstacles and we have a challenges, but also we have an opportunities we have to get. And I just, I suppose, just as a final question, um, I mean, what are the prospects for sort of socialists in Sudan um, in the democratic period? Um, so, uh, I mean, how do, uh, how are sort of socialist parties or socialists um, sort of interacting with that process? Is there a presence of, you know, socialists on the street um, trying to get elected or, um, is that still a very small thing? Yes, sure. Uh, yeah, it is a matter of uh, it is a matter of a, of a paragraph. The coming period period is a matter of the paragraphs. If I feel that your program reflects what I have raised on this resolution, peace, justice, and freedom, you know, I will be with you. If not, I'm not feel that. Justice, what, what and I say, justice, that means I said uh, the social equality, you know, the resources equality. And, you know, when I said justice, that means I have to feel that I am free and uh, that I feel I'm secure. And uh, I feel that what I need, my needs, essential needs that I have uh, get. At this time, I will say, yes, I will vote for this. Um, the, the revolution program, program or was the, the logo of the, of the res resolution is peace, justice, and freedom. So this is the main, the main uh, or the key, key words of the socialist in the world, if I, yeah. if I understand well. So if um, all the people, especially the youngest, people that they are in the street, they are leading this revolution. If they are not find this key where peace, justice, and freedom, they couldn't join any uh, political bodies. So as a socialist, uh, as a socialist parties or as a socialist uh, bodies, they have to consider on this and they have to be united, you know? to achieve the resolution logo, peace, freedom, and justice. If we are not finding this, uh, we can rethink of what we mean by the social uh, or the, by the socialism. And we have to rethink of how to implement this for the coming period. Because now we have a, a good program and ready program for the clever one to get, just to get it. We are a program is is the consist of the, these three key words. If we are implement and make an elaboration of these words, we can get a very unique uh, social uh, life and social way of government. Unless this happen, we are still in our place. Perfect. I, I mean, peace, justice, and. Um, freedom that seems like something that we can all get behind um you know um that's what socialists mm -hmm. around the world should be supporting um so that mm -hmm. sounds uh, that sounds fantastic um yes well thank you very much for joining me today Azza. it's been absolutely fantastic speaking to you and learning about sudan um hopefully you enjoyed it as well um, <laughs> um but <laughs> Uh, thanks very much to everybody for tuning into this video. Um, if you've enjoyed this, you can watch our previous episodes on Lebanon and the introduction to the region as a whole on our YouTube. Um, and for a whole lot more of this content um, and other sorts of stuff like it, you can visit conter.co.uk um, and you can listen to our podcast, Contercast on all major streaming sites. So I'll see you next time when we'll be discussing Iran. So have a lovely night, folks. Bye. Thank you, Mamai, Luis. I appreciate this interview and I hope that I cover some issue about Sudan and illustrate uh, some of uh, complicated issues that we have here in Sudan and hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.